Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, there's a pizza on the roof, and we're gonna start a new game in the Apocalypse mode. And the plan for this episode is the Power Couple variant, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will only bring Dolores and Ted, and Timmy, or whoever's closer to the bunker, for the... Uh, reason that well first of all one mouth less to feed and we can send Timmy out right at the beginning he might bring us even back some really great items and then we don't feed him I know I know it's cruel but but if we don't feed him I mean it's 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 just one extra item that we're carrying I mean two slots oh damn it got stuck in the door here but if we send Timmy out he might come back with quite a lot of food or water that in any case we couldn't have carried if he comes back with four bottles of water or something, even two bottles of water, it's kind of worth the trade-off because grabbing items takes like a little bit, like a second or so, so you're somewhat limited in the items you can carry. Even if they take two slots, sometimes it's better to, well, take the kid and send the kid scavenging. Oh yeah, right, the wife. Hey wife, sorry, totally forgot about you. My bad. I was like scavenging so much. Yeah, I totally forgot. I'll take some soup, and I probably will take the gas mask and the flashlight, and sorry, daughter, no time. No time. Daddy's busy. Daddy's busy surviving. <laughs> oh, sometimes I feel a little bit bad when I do these things. Just a little bit. Then I remember that, hey, it's about winning. And Ted looks like a winner. Don't you? Could you, could you, could you, could you. Yes, you're a winner. Let's hope so. All right. I like that nobody talks the fact that the daughter was still up there. It's, that's fine. It's fine. Nobody's upset at all. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't like her too much anyway. Didn't want it a son. And anyway. Okay, no complaining. I'm going to prepare an expedition because we're going to send out Timmy right away. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects or worse. It's worse, there's spiders and not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, very creepy beasts. Ah, well, Boy Scout book. We're gonna use that. Thing is, I'm currently considering that if we had Mary Jane, chances are she could have been bitten and we might have gotten a mutant. So that might be worth considering grabbing Dolores, uh, not Dolores, Mary Jane instead of Timmy if she's close to the bunker because. You know, she also can go scavenging, but she could turn into a mutant, so that's worth it. Anyway, we got a can of soup, very well. Water is all Dolores wants, Ted is really thirsty. Actually, this looks good, if we only go with Ted and Dolores. Let's have a quick look. Uh, every five days they need water, meaning we have ten days per bottle, pretty much. So, this is quite some time we can just sit here and wait. Anyway, we're not waiting, we're sending Timmy out. Timmy, it's your turn. It's time to make your parents proud. And we got a med kit, which is amazing. So chances are, if Pancake comes around, we can actually keep him. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here. Nope. I'm not using the med kit. Screw it. We're gonna be we're gonna be crazy. I'm willing to risk it. Oh, we're just tired a little bit. Or just Ted is tired. She's fine. That worked out great. We bravely ignored these symptoms. Uh, Ted is really tired. Whatever. Here's some water. Let's hope that Timmy brings... I would like some bug spray. And what else would I like? Um, oh, a gas mask. If you could bring back one, that might be nice. But if he brings back the broken one, or just one in general, yeah, we can repair it, even if it's broken. Uh, nobody's hungry. It's day six. We're just going to keep going. Skipping ahead. Let's see how long Timmy's going to stay out. Take your time, Timmy, as long as you bring back good stuff. Didn't have too much luck with them in the recent episodes. That stomach is rumbling. She would like to eat. Here you go. We can barely breathe in this damn shelter for the last couple of hours. The situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Uh, all right, let's hope that... I don't have the box spray. The flashlight is guaranteeing me... Ah, Ted got sick. Well... Guess what I'm going to use? I'm going to use the med kit. Uh, what about food, by the way? No, no, good. Well, he's gonna use the med kit. And we're gonna listen to the radio. Obviously. Man. I just had ice cream. Total random fact, right? And... 
I'm hungry for ice cream again. That's a problem. I can I can never stop with the ice cream. I get like a Ben and Jerry's container, like the smaller ones, and I just just ravage it. We made contact. The military's out there, and they're coming for us. Good, good, good. Our poor house was completely destroyed. All right, Timmy. Timmy brought two cans of soup. He brought oh, he brought the box spray and well, a broken mask. Well, Timmy, guess you're not going to. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to feed you. Sorry, Timmy. It's all for your parents now. And we're not gonna go outside. I will only go scavenging with events, unless we really need to, or there's, it's the best choice of action. But I will try to only go scavenging with events, because scavenging events, as I probably said several times at this point, you come back right away or you're gone, so there's no waiting, which is kinda nice. And they're actually kinda neat. Timmy's diet needs food, today or never. Well, looks like it's going to be never, Timmy. Looks like it's going to be never, Timmy. Uh, will not survive without water any longer. Yeah, it's it's that time. Oh no, sorry, not for you, Timmy. Not for you. You know what? We do have 6.5 cans of way too much food cans. Does it make sense to keep him around? Not really, because he's sick and nah, nah. It's fine. We we can send him out. That's okay. We could have sworn a huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier, and there goes another one. Damn it, we were getting flooded! Oh, there goes my Kamar. Taking away my cards and my map. Thank you, Kamar. Well, I lost my map, I lost my cards, and Timmy. And the only thing intended was Timmy. <sighs> ah well. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming of floods at this point. Okay, we're not gonna send anyone out, still not, even though we don't have a map or cards. I'm gonna be a little bit upset if the military demands cards. Or it's gonna be, why did we go crazy? How did that happen? Well, we've both gone crazy. I'm not gonna send out crazy people. Um, every time we want to check out one of these really great places in the neighborhood, we end up looking at a stain or a hole in our map. That's not very helpful when you're planning a very dangerous journey. Now is it? So it's a good idea to fix that darn map. 50-50 eh, that it breaks. Or that we have a fresh new map. We actually do have a fresh new map. Good things do happen. Unless we use it for toilet paper now. Time for food. No expedition. And what was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And the double tail. Yes, let's chop it up. Chop it up to pieces. Put it on a stick. Roast it. Eat it. Mmm. Hungry again. Can't help myself. The game just brings out my inner foodie. Uh, Lars will not survive without water. Ted likes he got one foot in the grave. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. Games are fun. I personally like him a lot. And Mr. Sockman likes it too. Okay. Guys, I'm a little bit worried about you guys going crazy or still being crazy. Oh wait, it's it's water, it's not food. That would have ended the episode very quickly. Okay, still highly radioactive. The army's on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready. Yes, let's blink. Let's do blinky blink. Because I'm pretty sure a plane would totally see where that flashlight is and also know... I mean, at least they're gonna know. Oh, there's light. People are still alive. I guess. Loris is clearly giving into the madness. We wish we could stop it. Ted is act no acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Maybe they cancel each other out. You know, two negatives make a positive. Probably not. Well, no expedition, and we're gonna listen to the radio. What could we do? We could maybe get an event of... Um, to look at photos in the Boy Scout book. That'd be great. Dolores still isn't in control of her mind. We're not sure what monsters are inhabiting it, but we wish they would just go away. Ted isn't acting normally. Maybe it's because the kids are dead? I don't know. Doris hasn't been talkative lately. Should we chat with her and find out what's wrong? It might make her feel better. You know, from one crazy person to the other. Mm, yeah, actually it worked. She's not crazy anymore. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. Fantastic. Dolores is sane again. Good news, I guess. Good news. Not sending anyone out. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. Nope, we're not gonna tinker with the radio. I'm not crazy. I am not going to lose my radio to you goons. You wouldn't just 
If your car breaks down and you never repaired a car, would you just attempt to rebuild the engine block or so? You're not electricians. Maybe Ted is an electrician. Honestly, I wonder what Ted is. I mean, as, you know, his occupation is before the bombs fell. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Hardware store. I don't know. You have any ideas what he was working at? What, like, a typical occupation for him could be? Anyway, Dolores would like to eat something, and Ted is hungry. Got you covered. Water tomorrow. That trash can of ours is disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. And let's deal with the trash then. The Boy Scout book will tell us how to deal with it. Ah, Ted is worrying me. Please don't use the map as toilet paper. Pretty please. Use some water. Uh, when it's certain about the situa situation on the surface, a trip could be risky. Yes, it could be risky. And I don't want... Don't want to risk it. Well, so far, the military made contact with us. We could help with, you know, shining the flashlight. And I would definitely throw the rifle away because we do have the axe. Okay, not sending anyone out. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadow. If anything besides us is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach who's the boss. Right, we're gonna use the axe, hopefully not injuring ourselves in the epic encounter with whatever it is. Yep, looks good. Looks like we survived that. It is dead now. No new trouble. <laughs> no new problems are troubling Ted this day. You know, except the usual, where he is talking with a sock puppet. You, you get a perfectly fine wife. You don't need to use a sock. Well, yeah, she looks too disappointed. <coughs> Excuse me. Time to ration the supplies. Does anyone want something? I didn't look. Uh, nope. No, nope, everything's good. Let's just uh, skip over this day. We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but ended in the big if. Well, I'm dropping the rifle. I do have my axe, which I do will use against any intruder. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Water's all the lore's wants. Nope, not yet. Okay. Nothing new is going on. I'm not going on an expedition unless I really, really have to, or there's... No point in not doing it. But so far, nobody is sick. We don't need a med kit. And we're just gonna wait for the military to come. Unless it's raiders, which would be super annoying. Uh, no food. We can discuss that tomorrow. We decided to peek outside for a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We had only at moments to decide to what to do. That's probably Pancake. I don't have a med kit. I don't want to bury him. So I'm just gonna not do anything and yell at him. And he runs away. Hopefully finding another family that will take care of him. Wait, what happened to the map? We might have risked battling a beast in darkness. Um, but for some reason we felt that was not our liking. So we screamed and screamed with terror. The creature was probably more afraid of us than we were of it. Poor pancake. Every day Ted is becoming more absent-minded. Great, he used it as toilet paper. <sighs> Doris would really like to eat something. She will not survive with water any longer. Yeah. Time time for food and water. That is really a big shame. Uh, let's have a quick look. Not that I'm missing. Nope. He's not complaining about food. So I'm not gonna give him any. <sighs> well. We could still try to repair it again with the Boy Scout book if we're given the opportunity. So as long as we still have it hanging on the map, on the wall, it's fine. I personally think you can totally read that. You know, there's a little bit missing here, but that's just, it's fine. And you have some, you, you created some weird stains there. All right, Ted is hungry. Here you go, boy. Why do I say boy? That's, that's what you call a dog. Good boy. All right, Mar. Yes. So, memories or not, we should keep our heads clear. Yes, especially Ted's before he breaks the radio. Never seen him break the radio though. It's usually Dolores. Um. Anyone wants? Nope. <laughs> Ted keeps behaving really oddly. Fan friggin' tastic. We had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it, and soon. That's a new one. Let's use the flashlight to find it. I wouldn't mind getting some ammunition back. Haha. -ha. 
The first thing we found was a forgotten deck of cards. Strike. Dolores used it for solitaire back in the day until the kids lost a few of the cards. Now we can play semi-solitaire. All right. Would you look at that? That says something about the bunker, doesn't it? If there were cards back here. So we've been living here for some time. We knew about the bunker and we've actually been in here, so. Of course we did. Still surprised that nothing was stocked except playing cards. Why are you playing cards down here? Weird. Found that the ammunition clip was covered by a can. Too bad it was empty, but at least we have our bullets back. Okay. Water. Nope, not today. Day 28. We need it on day 30. Our first eight kilos of no use, and we need to do something about it. Oh, yes. Let's use the buck spray for that. If I knew that I could have made that, I probably would go for pancake. But at least that's going to keep us alive longer in case we get injured by some weird event. There was another military announcement on the radio. The soldiers are nearby and ordering a single person from each survivor group to meet them and outline the group situation. This is a bit odd. We do have, they mean well. It's still pretty much the only thing we can do. I'm going to send Ted because Ted is crazy. And if he gets injured, I will feel a little bit better. Okay, good. We managed to make it to the meeting. Yeah, let's send the crazy person. They're, they're definitely going to come to the group with the crazy person. Okay, uh, yes, I need water right now. Does anyone need food? Nope, but that's great. That's great. We got to talk to the military, so that, I guess, increases the chance of them coming by. I will now open the door since it's after day 30, so chances are good if they knock. It might even be the military. Okay, not sending anyone. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter. There isn't much we can miss. All right, we're gonna look for the break. We might get attacked by a rat, and then we have to use the med kit on whoever got wounded. That is just how the game rolls. It's like, oh, you got a med kit? Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna injure you. No, we're gonna break the radio. Interesting. We approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside what happened next. Nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed road in the reptile or whatever this crazy mad creature was. Leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it. Before we could do anything, it pushed our radio off the table and went back in the hole it crawled from. We never saw it again. Dolores would really love to eat something. <sighs> sure, sure, we got plenty of food. Water, getting a little low though. Getting a little low on water. Well, maybe we get the proper event. Losing the radio is kind of a bummer though. Well, we got to talk to them on the uh, 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 in the meet. We shined a flashlight at them, I think. That is hungry. Yeah, they're like delayed always by one day. We thought phone calls were a thing of the past. However, a phone move on the street survived the bombing somehow. It seemed it's ringing right now. Let's send Ted over. Um, might just be that weird phone call with the... Oh! Ted got lost? How did that happen? Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seemed today following the advice of a sock puppet, he left the bunker. <sighs> we got to the phone booth without unexpected surprises. Answered the phone quickly. Uh, it was a pre-recorded sales message. Yeah for canned tomato soup. <sighs> I guess next time I'm not gonna do that. I never had anything else happen from the phone booth call. It's it's an interesting event. I always hope for something else. Anyway, more water for Dolores. And food, that is. Unless she goes crazy. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went to the supply room, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? I will risk it. I will, wait. There's, there's no need, unless... Ah, the radio, right? Uh, I wish I could ask you guys. I wish... It is a scavenging event. So, she's doing fine. She might be fine. Even if she gets injured, we have a medkit. Let's send Dolores, and she'll be right back. So the game isn't over. Huh, she went crazy. Well, that was expected. We got a gas mask. Huh, not too bad. Alright, Dolores' sanity is questionable. Let's hope that... Doesn't bite us. Um, water tomorrow. Oh, someone is trading water or food. Ew, water, we do have... Ah, No need to trade. No need to trade. I will keep those things because they might help me with my sanity. That would be great. Well, maybe the woman will survive. She looks like she could bear a few more children and rebuild society. What are you complaining about, Bird? You're all, all complaining, biting my headset. <sighs> Dolores will not survive without any water longer. For anyone who doesn't know, I have a bird sitting on my shoulder. I kind of feel that I have to mention that, because otherwise it seems like I'm going crazy. <sighs> There's a bird sitting on my shoulder, eating my headset. No, it's, it's Wheatley. He's sitting here. Sometimes he's just angry at my headset. 
No idea why. Um, yeah, time for water. Um, we're not sending her on expedition. After Laura's return from the last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. It might have been a right foot or maybe a left foot. One of them anyway. Uh, I will not use the medkit uh, right away. She might get sick tomorrow, but then I can still use the medkit. There is an off chance that she will actually not... Nope, she got sick. Okay, so we're going to use the medkit now. There's always a chance that even if you don't do it, um, you know, use the axe, that she will not get sick. So what I'll do instead is I will take care with the medkit of her. Laura says she can handle herself, but we're not sure. Oh, we're not sending her. Oh, wait, does she need food, by the way? Nope, she just got ill. So, that's all good. We can do this. Dolores, you just gotta believe. Also, you cough like an old man. Okay. Worst case, she just runs out of the bunker. She was cured from an illness. Sadly, not from her craziness. Damn it, everyone to check out one of these really great places in the neighborhood. We end up looking at a stain. Well, let's fix it with the Boy Scout book. Would be really great. Mm, don't think we need it, though. Nope, we ruined it anyway. At least there was a chance. Okay. Any event. We're about to finish our dinner, if you can call it, when you heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who's interested in ammunition. No, I will not give him ammunition. I got plenty of soup. No need. Dum, 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 dum. Day 39. The stranger was disappointed. Dolores would like to eat something. Absolutely. Um... Saying, playing a card game. Huh. We could play for two bottles of water. Oh, two cans of food. Never mind. I'm not going to play for two cans of food. Um, interesting. Usually it's always water, but since I didn't have two bottles of water, I guess he went for food. That's okay, too. Uh, yes, here's the water. You're, gonna, you're just gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Whoever designed this fall each other was a genius, but we can't really tell if this green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. I doubt it. I really doubt it. So... Hmm... Still waiting for that military. They should know we're here. Uh, no expedition. Just sitting down here. I mean, the last time I only had the lores, I got today 120. I would not think that this is going to happen this time. Especially since she's crazy. Um, we're about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be at this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did I survive the nuke? Should we open up? Absolutely. Absolutely open up. Worst case, it's raiders. Oh. Oh. Why did we get sick? A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Of course, we thanked them. They turned away and left. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. It seems it gave us an awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Oh, no. No good. Uh, well, I was hoping for the military, but... Two water bottle bet. Yeah, I'm... I'm I don't... I'm sorry, man. I don't need to bet. I got... I got... I got it all. Except that med kit or the buck spray, so... Ah, it's a little, it's, it's, uh. We woke up to the smell of something burning. We got up in panic, but it turns out the fire was under control, more or less. For the past few days, Dolores has been very busy building a house of cards. It started with a single building, but soon she was out of cards. Well, she burned down the cards. As long as she doesn't run out, I'm okay with this, actually. But yeah, her being sick, mm, that's not good. That's not good. If we could rub the ammunition on us, that would be great. Because, apparently, as we learned, ammunition heals us if we rub it all over us. However that happens. Oh, I would love to listen to the radio. I would love to. But that thing just broke. Oh, yeah. It's looking grim. Very, very grim. Poor Dolores. Poor Dolores. Anyway, let's have a quick look. Does she need anything? No, she's just tired, and we have a group of raiders on our hand. <sighs> well, we do have an axe, and you don't want to deal with a sick, coughing, zombie-like looking person with an axe. Zombies with axes. That is scary. Here's Johnny! You can greedy bastards. Yeah, that's right. You better run, and thanks for leaving us one of your rifles. Ha! <laughs> that would be great if it was a medkit instead, but yeah. 
anyway, the last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was not a trumpet player. Um, that's the Merry Man. He might take away some food, some water, which is okay. I'm hoping for a med kit. Nope, he just took away our Boy Scout book, our flashlight. Great. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I was hoping he would just take some food. Oh uh, well. Okay. After all days we spent on here, we are not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed, and now we are about to get sick. So why not take a shower? We don't have soap. Okay, let's use the ammunition. It would be great if we get actually healed by that again. Last time it happened, and it happened this time. Ammunition heals you. That is amazing. Still crazy though. That doesn't heal that. Man, magical ammunition. Love it. Time to ration supplies. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Dolores to leave the bunker at this point. She's been crazy for so long. And I don't have anything to deal with that. If I had the Boy Scout book, we could have gotten an event, but nope. Okay, Dolores needs water before I forget that again. Would be a shame. One of the cupboards was a bit shaky, so we pulled it. Give it in your home. Where does it lead? No idea. Let's find out. The secret door. It might bring us a map, maybe? We'll see. I have no idea what we get from it. Nope. There was nothing. The room was empty. We hit nothing but the walls. We barely dodged one ricochet. Gone bad. Dolores is calm. That's good. We need to make a choice for today's expedition. Which one is best fit to face the waste and survive? No one! Maybe Mr. Soup can. Loras, you should get some friends. Oh, you're not fatigued anymore. No, you are. You're not tired? Loras has rested. That is the least spectacular day ever. Just nothing. Just Dolores has rested. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out to be a group of old ladies. We thought it would only be good manners to talk to them face to face when we opened. They attacked us with their umbrellas. Let's shoot those old geezers. Shoot them! Yeah. Have some lead pension. Get it? Lead poison? Never mind. Uh, water is all that the Lord wants. You wish is my command in two days. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from the neighborhood today. There was a zoo escape. Uh, I'm not going for the zoo animals. I have enough food and chances are I might get injured. So, yeah, we're not going out. Where's that static coming from? Definitely not from that broken radio. Definitely from that. We found some weird mushrooms growing on the walls. <laughs> no, we're not eating mushrooms. That's not happening. We're just sitting this out in the hopes that a silly military is gonna come by. Loris would love to eat something. Uh, yeah, and water. Absolutely. As we we're considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in a pretty bad shape. All they wanted was something to drink and food. Let's give him food. Let's give him some soup. I'm okay with that. We have plenty of soup left. And it might help my karma. Ooh, actually, it cured her craziness. I did not know that it would do that, but she's sane again. So, yeah, karma is a thing in this game, absolutely. Does she need something? No, no, she's fine. And she could go, ooh, wait, something is below us. It is only reasonable to go and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? No, we're not going down. We're not going down there. Don't go down there, Dolores. Oh, right, she got crazy again. Mm. Going to the tight dark tunnel is not a good idea. Ah, the sounds are giving us the creeps, even up here. Well, she was sane for a day. That's at least something. Let's just hope that reset her insane meter, if that is a thing. Probably is in the background. The sanity is just a number value. Water is all the Loris wants. And the baby. And the baby. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great Uncle Terry. Well, we're not going to learn about Uncle Terry because the Merry Man took it. They silly Merry Man. Okay, it looks like we're just sitting. Nothing new happening, no military, no nothing at all. When someone knocked at the door, we were suspicious and cautious. Oh, it's the old ladies again. Well, let's use the axe this time and chop them into little, little old wrinkly pieces. 
I wouldn't mind that. <sighs> Some axe action was enough to send those cowards running. Oh, dude, I was so close. I just saw day 60, clicked the next, and thought, oh, I barely, barely let her die. What the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? Let's use the checker sword to get some. Well, well, it didn't make the craziness better, but at least didn't make it worse. She would love to eat something. We can sit this out for so long. Okay, the trash can is becoming full. And since we don't have a Boy Scout book, we're having visitors. Mm. Mutant cockroach. That thing is huge. That's what she said. It is actually what she said because Loris is the only one surviving. Everything seems to be okay with the Loris. That's that's call us weird, but we think those roaches are trying to communicate. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go even more crazy now that they're talking to us. This is such a shame. I think the biggest problem is that we don't have a radio, therefore no way to communicate with the Outside world. How is the military ever gonna find us? <sighs> a woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel. Um, I'm not gonna sell my checker sport. That's the only thing that might keep me insane for the remainder of the time. Uh, in the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time. I agree. Alarm! There's a group of people outside. They don't seem too friendly. As usual. Let's use the axe. Don't deal with an angry woman and a, with an axe. I think that goes for even pre-apocalyptic situations. If you find an upset woman holding or swinging an axe, stay away from her. Just saying. This announcement was brought to you by Weasel. This public service announcement. Uh, without water. Here's some water. Let's not make you die. Oh! Okay, uh, another one wants to trade. So many traders! No sol solitists. Sol uh, solid. No trading. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of those things. I might do it the other way around. If only one would offer me a radio. But no, no luck there. The only thing I can. Oh, Dolores has really lost it! Today we caught a red handed gorging on our supplies and completely ignoring our strict but fair rationing policy. <sighs> well. She broke into tears. Who is she talking to? Uh, she's really crazy. Alright. Uh, well, at least she ate, right? Well, at least she ate today. Trash can is disgustingly full. Nothing I can do about that. Bring back the cockroaches. Bring them back. At least she has some company. Some nice glowing cockroaches. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. You just gorge yourself on a whole can of food. Alright, we learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you will end up with more roaches. Well, then let's just shoot them. I can do that. No problem. Day 68. The cockroaches are dead. Someone should count how many times I'm saying cock roaches in this episode. Probably quite a lot. There has to be some water left. The Lord should get it. Yeah. No, I wanted it I wanted to give it to the cockroaches or you know, my imaginary friends. Day 69. It's surprisingly easy to just survive with Dolores. She doesn't run out at all. I was thinking she would run out, but it doesn't seem like she does it when she's alone. When someone knocked the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out to be the old ladies. They're not giving up. They're so persistent. Day 70. Shot another old person. Well, send them running. Okay, here's some water. Oh, the person with the water chip. What in the hell is that? He would give us a gas mask. At least I think he would. I will try. Just, I will try. Maybe he will give us something else if we have a gas mask. At this point, I just have to risk it and see. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, the visitor wasn't happy that we didn't have a water chip or that we didn't know what that one was. Oh, well. No, no, no mask for us. I just had to try. Uh, very unpredictable. Someone, we're afraid of her. Okay, any event? Yes, the trash can is becoming full. We kind of got that. I don't think the military is coming for us. No knock at the door. Usually we have way more. 
Well, now we have two cockroaches. Nothing new about the Loris. Nothing new. And we got still a can of soup and a bottle of water. It's gonna at least 20 more days or 17. I'm not entirely sure. Loris hasn't eaten in a while. Will not last long without water. Oh. Okay. The Loris, honey. I wish, I wish they would come for you, but I think it's just you and the cockroaches. You're the cockroach queen. That's a beautiful, that, that is, that is a beautiful title for a episode. Dolores will not survive without water. Yes, yes, yes. Heard that a million times. And the cockroaches are talking to us again. She's already crazy. There's nothing you can throw at me game anymore. I'm... Yeah, nothing. Uh, water. I'm just eating through that, hoping. Oh! It turns out Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more cockroaches because those little bastards just keep coming. We need to clean up our mess or end up with a full blown investigation. Hmm. She might get sick if I don't deal with it. I just want to see what happens. Nope, she didn't get sick. It's all fine. So what happens? Although they're a bit glowy and we're pretty sure they spread diseases, we have no by no means. Oh, we have no means of fighting those damn roaches. Best just get, best get used to it. Okay. Means there's not much you can do. That's okay. As long as you don't get sick, I'm okay with it. Just some extra roaches. Kind of feel they would be a great source for food. At a certain point, at least, if there's enough. Crunchy proteins. Haven't you seen the Lion King? That's Hakuna Matata. Am I right? All right. We never feel we've never felt weird, but today we have to revisit the term. It seems that our little green pest guests are trying to communicate with us. Yeah, we came in peas. Well, I, I believe they do. Why? Why would they lie? I don't know. Cockroaches are not known to eat humans. I think. I have no idea. I mean, in the end, they're gonna. Even cats will eat you, if it comes to it. Uh, those cockroaches aren't playing around. They're very territorial and leaving us less and less space every day. Well, okay, let's shoot them. Got nothing else to do except sitting around. Might as well uh, eradicate the roaches. Imagine an exterminator coming to your house and shooting roaches. Like, hundreds of them. You just hear bullets all day long. Bazookas. Well, it wouldn't be good for the house, would it? We won the battle, maybe even the whole war. After the, massac uh, after the massacre was over, we tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our shelter door. That'd be a warning for all the other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Doris hasn't eaten in a while. Yeah, okay, here's some food. And water tomorrow. I don't think something's gonna happen, guys. I mean, it's, we're, we're at day 80 again. I might as well send her out. There's not going to be a rescue mission at all. We're just gonna keep eating. And once that out, we're done. Oh, it's the old ladies again. The silly old ladies. Might as well kill them. And Dolores. You know how to deal with old people, don't you? Uh, send them running. Dolores is very unpredictable. I am just going to eat this. There is not going to be any military. They're not coming for us, guys. Well... Regardless, even if the military would come, I think she couldn't handle it. This was a dark day for her family. This morning, we realized that Dolores had left the bunker. Unfortunately, she could no longer contain her sanity. Not bad. I mean, she's been, like, pretty much insane for most of this episode. So, good for her. We're going to miss her dearly. Good luck, Dolores. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We spent 80 days in our shelter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, no military. No military, what can you do? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. It helps out a lot. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.